California voters head to the polls in less than a month to decide whether to recall Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom just two years into his term. They'll render that decision against an incredible backdrop of COVID, wildfires, and more. Joining us with some new poll numbers is CBS News Elections and Surveys Director Anthony Salvanto. Anthony, good morning. One of the things I think is most interesting about this poll is that you were able to put some numbers to this growing sense of frustration among vaccinated Americans when it comes to people who have so far chosen not to get the shot. Yeah, great to see you, Nancy. And it starts with this overwhelming feeling among Californians that their state's recent rise in coronavirus cases was preventable. So you ask, well, what could have prevented it? And a top answer is, well, more vaccinations, if more people had gotten vaccinated. So we went ahead and asked those who have gotten the shot how they feel about those who are unwilling to get vaccinated. And here's where this frustration you see emerges. Top answer, the vaccinated feel the unvaccinated are putting people like me at risk. Also that they feel they're being misled by bad information and outright saying they're making me upset or angry. And that's where you see that emotional component coming in. Now look, California may not be the same as every state. It's got a relatively high vaccination rate, but this tension between the vaccinated and the unvaccinated, certainly something we're gonna watch across the country, Nancy. Right, we see lots of evidence of it growing all the time. Anthony, one of the main reasons you conducted this poll in California, obviously, is because they have this major recall election coming up in just one month. First term California Governor Gavin Newsom campaigning to hold on to his job. What did you find? Let me show you two sets of numbers that I think really tell the story. First of all, among likely voters in the recall, the people who are most likely to show up next month, well, there, the no vote, which would keep Gavin Newsom in office, is winning... But it's four points, and that's a pretty close margin for California and for a Democrat. So Newsom's sweating that out a little bit. But here's something I find really telling. If you ask the same thing among everyone who could vote, among all registered voters, now that no to keep Newsom in office has a much wider eight-point margin. What does that tell you? It tells you that this is going to be a turnout election. And the reason for that, Nancy, is that Democrats tell us they're not as definite to vote and they're not as motivated to vote as Republicans in the state are. Be interesting to watch over the course of the next few weeks if Newsom can turn that around. And let me just tell you also, for context, Newsom gets pretty good approval ratings for things that Californians are concerned about, like handling the wildfires, more mixed on crime, and also at least somewhat good, if not very good, in handling of COVID. So to kind of button that up, the next few weeks are going to come down to Democrats. Well, look, it's been a long stretch. They had the primaries. They had the presidential election. may not be so much that they're tired of Gavin Newsom or won't vote for him, maybe more that they're just kind of tired of voting on things. You also polled on this question of vaccine mandates, a debate across the country, but it seems not quite as much of a debate in California. They definitely came down on one side of this argument. Yeah, Nancy, big majorities say that vaccines should be mandatory for California's health care workers. Another thing we asked making it mandatory for businesses to require vaccines of their employees. That gets high support. And even for businesses that host large, maybe indoor venues to have requirements for their customers. In fact, a lot of people said they'd be more willing to patronize a kind of business that required vaccines of their customers. All of those with large majorities. And here is where that emotional component we talked about earlier, that frustration, of the vaccinated with the unvaccinated starts to manifest itself in policy outcomes and support, Nancy. Anthony, one of the issues that you took a look at is on the minds not just of Californians, but people across the Pacific Northwest, these huge wildfires that are now starting months before peak season. Uh, what did Californians have to tell you about their fears about wildfires affecting them and their entire home state? Yeah, the fires themselves are a top issue of concern. And then it quite literally, they tell us, starts to hit home. A lot of people feel like they are at risk, at least some risk of fires and also of drought. More generally, Nancy, we find that people have said they've experienced extreme weather in their area and that they feel like the state is having or feeling 
the impact of climate change overall. And where that then comes into public policy is that people tend to support, and this really goes across party lines, support things that the state at least can try to do to mitigate the effects of climate change, Nancy. Fascinating results. The recall election, September 14th. Anthony Salvanto, thank you.